Uh, Mark, and then I'll move around a little bit. Jay, I'm guessing the reason you're getting so many questions about the absence of bilats is that last year the President had 13 bilateral meetings with key foreign leaders during his UN visit. And this year, you can't tell us of any. So, what is different about the, the, the last year and this year? Well, Mark, I would simply say that this President looks forward to speaking tomorrow, will lay out clearly what uh, his views are on the recent unrest in the Muslim world, on the United States' role in the region, uh, the U.S.'s absolute commitment to holding accountable and brings justice those who killed Americans, uh, his firm belief that while the video was offensive and disgusting and uh, was the product of, uh, was the work of an, a handful of individuals and had no way represented uh, the views of the United States government or the American people, uh, violence and reaction to it is unjustified. Uh, he will discuss uh, broadly the American role in the transformations taking place in the region. And he will continue as president, as he has over these past several weeks, and he will going forward, his intensive consultations with leaders in the region uh, over the current period of unrest in the Muslim world. The the fact of the matter is the President does not uh, wait for an annual meeting to have uh, consultations with or meetings with foreign leaders, and they will continue. But the U.N. meeting has always lent itself to a number of bilats, mm -hmm. but not this year. Well, I have no meetings to announce to you, Mark. I mean, the President's schedule uh, includes the uh, reception this evening. It includes uh, his speech tomorrow. Uh, beyond that, I don't have details for you.